guys, it's Queen DJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting during to episode 12 of Healing Good Pretty Cure. Just getting it started in 3, 2, 1, go. Come here, Cud. Over, I need you. Alright, you gotta put on my butt now. The situation last week's episode. No. <laughs> and how seriously OP it was. But the biggest thing is, let's just hope something like this doesn't happen again, where it's like, hmm, here's all three of our villains, mini villains, and then it's like, hey, bl hey, gang, let's split the F up. No! Like hang on, basically. You're okay, baby. Mm -hmm. Your heebie key is showing. Come on. No, no, not play. You either just stay there. Cody.
Is this the character that's supposed to be, like, portrayed by Girl Akechi's VA? Because if so, I don't hear it. Stop. No. Oh my god, dog. Please don't do that. Go lay down, please. Lay down. No. Okay. Yeah, but how though? I, oh. Okay, yeah, like twinethic or whatever they're gonna call. Not telepathic, but twinethic. When you know you have a couple of sisters or brothers and y'all know what the heck they're saying without even talking. Yeah, not that time. Nice try, though. Why did you jump? You were supposed to roll! A bird running. Can you do it again, please? No. <laughs> That made no sense at all. It's okay. <laughs> you try. I kind of hear it now, but like, still, no. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. 
But the thing is, y'all don't know they're probably currently doing something outside, so go check. Hmm? Yeah, but you can. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely his voice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He's the only new character in this episode, so it's obvious. That that is Goro Akachi, but it's just, it doesn't really sound like him. We're, we're, we're literally gonna have Goro Akachi for, some, for a certain amount of episodes. This is gonna be hilarious. Uh -huh. Pancake meme is coming back for this show specifically. Allergies, Jesus. Mm -hmm. You're okay. I need break the way. Go lay down. No. Go lay down, please. I'll play with you after. Go lay down. Go lay down. Go lay down. Here, take my hand, because you're just still staring at me. Come on. Sit.
Goro Kachi. The pancake man. Yeah, I'm still just gonna go ahead and call you Goro Kachi. You feel better now that you're in my lap again, puppy. That is literally him coming back for Futaba and like, you know, all that is you didn't be Persona 5. Mm, mm. <laughs> I'm sorry. Please play Persona 5. <laughs> Thanks, try though. Yeah, that's a very a catchy thing to say and do too. See, this is also why a catchy is the you know what Persona Five. Mm hmm.
It's gonna be okay. Mm -hmm. Don't doubt yourself no matter what. Just be positive. Mm hmm. Of course, there is one that doubts it. There's always one. Can I just say this episode was okay? That's all? I mean,. I, I liked the team building. I felt like I was watching, like, or really getting feels towards a K-On! episode or really any type of show where it's like, hey, let's go on, like, a little mini trip vacation-ish and let's, you know, try to make a bond with our connection or whatever and stuff like that. But yeah, this was just an okay episode. Um, it's interesting that the VA of Goro Okechi is actually officially in this show because you also have Aoyuki for Futaba up in this bitch. So, I mean, yeah. You're going to see me make a lot of more Persona 5 references every single week, even though I already have for the past, what, 12 episodes. Same thing with, like, freaking Saga, Tiny the Evil, and fucking, um, Simpo Gear at the same time, too. So, yeah, because I'm watching it at the same time, and I'm almost done with that show. But, yeah, it was okay. I didn't really, I, I thought it was going to be a lot better than going into it, but no, it was just okay. It's interesting because now we're having, like, a mini boss, and then you still... It's like this. This is what I kind of see Goro Kachi's character with these three. It's a mini villain, then, a, then three other villains, and then the main, main villain. So, I think Goro Kachi's character is going to be here maybe until the fourth year comes. And then that's when, okay, officially, yes, all four of them are going to defeat them together, maybe. I'm not 100% sure. You know what that reminds me of? That reminds me of... It's, I think it's what, episode 3? Are four of Go Princess Breaker when Kilala quit, and then eventually, like it was a whole episode later, and then she finally is like, "Yeah, I want to be a Breaker." And freaking um, Puff and the bird—I don't even remember the bird's name—was like arguing her down, and like she was not backing down without a fight. And then she finally, like, she finally got her freaking stuff back, and she was able to be a pure. But it seems like it's going to go that way. I'm not 100% sure. It's interesting that after 12 episodes going into 13 by next week, that Hinata is the one who wants to quit because of the fact is this episode really just for her, I can see the reason why she wants to quit because of the fact is, yeah, it's a dangerous job and you're scared and it's okay to be scared. You never truly know what in the world could possibly happen being a pre -care. There are pros and cons of becoming it. Just like there's pros and cons of becoming Sailor Moon or becoming a freaking gear user, freaking Hibiki, or becoming, you know, a phantom thief. There's pros and cons because of it. I mean, seriously, like I said, go play Persona 5 if you want to know. But yeah, because, uh, well, don't play Persona, don't play regular Persona 5. Play Persona 5 Royal because that has more issue to it. So yeah, but to, like literally, I get it. Honestly, I hope that next week's episode goes a little more into detail on why she wants to quit and explains between the backstory of this episode and the previous episode. So that's just like, I'm just scared in a nutshell. I'm scared to do this because it's like, no one's going to die. That's the biggest thing. But because of the fact is she doesn't want a situation where it's three on three and they have to split up and she's possibly afraid that she's not going to be able to do it again by herself. But she has to you and freaking Hinata along for the ride. And so no matter what, you have to do things together. But it's just something that she's really going to have to sit and talk about with them. But yeah, I thought it was an okay episode. That's really, it was, there were things that I think should have been made a little more better. I do like the exercise that they did, especially with like trying to become a cat, a penguin, and a bunny. I thought that was cute, especially with Hinata and her like 
derpy faces, but yeah. Other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode 12 of Healing Good Pretty Care. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Marshall Squad, and of course, I will see you guys officially all next Sunday for episode 13. Bye, guys.